Rider Nation has a ton of aloha. I've come across so many Rider fans in Hawaii <laughs> as I would go there back there in off season uh, before moving to Ontario full time. But you know, again, I, I go to Hawaii uh, a, a few weeks ago, and as soon as I step off the plane, Rider fans. I mean, that just goes to show like how special this place is and not only that they're rough riders but the whole league man they're, they're CFL fans they love this game and uh, I'm, I'm thankful and honored to be able to to be part of that that wave uh, this year I'm, I'm gonna be surfing that that green wave this year <laughs> it's got to be at the top I mean the way it's set up the venue the atmosphere itself it's gonna be electric I can tell with every seat in that house taken it's gonna be loud it's gonna be a place a tough place to play um, and I'm, just, I'm looking forward to that. Like it's, it's always special when you can go into a packed house. Um, that energy level, it helps you as a player. Pictures don't do nothing justice, man. Like you go into that place and you're just like, wow, wow, wow. There's more? Wow. Right? So they outdid themselves, but in a good way. It makes you, as a player, feel like special. It's like, man, I want to be here. I want to put in the extra time. I'm going to get here early. I'm going to stay late. You want to stay there, and it's like, man, I might be sleeping in, in, in my locker. <laughs> who, needs a, who needs a place to stay, man? I'm, I'm staying at the stadium. Like I said, down to the little details of, of that, um, the locker room itself, the lockers, they did it right. They didn't cut no corners. Um, they made sure that they had the players in mind when putting this thing together uh, from an amenity and facility standpoint. And the stadium, the fans, they had the fans in mind when building that, the fan experience. So top to bottom, it's breathtaking.